I said my bird got home all late last night She jumped in the bed and gave me a fright I said what the hell is going on She said where the heck have you been gone Let's rock my baby Bop to bop let's rock my baby Bop to bop let's rock my baby Rock bop bop a bop She said she been downtown in a low bar She jumped up the stage started playing guitar Everybody brown was Hello uh, this last Viva entry is for the um, for a hairstyle that is inspired by Doris Day, and we're going to go from day to night with this hairstyle, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I did is I rolled my hair in these bendy rollers and some foam rollers, and then I also took my bangs and I aimed them off my face while they were still wet, and then as soon as they dried, I took a curling iron. They're a little bit too short to pin curl right now. I took a um, curling iron and curled them to the side and then pinned them in place in dry pin curls. Uh, like you've seen so many others do. And that's what I have going right now as far as the setting goes. And I'm sure you saw a photo at the beginning of the style that we're going to try to achieve. In addition to that, we're gonna move this into day to, from day to night, um, very simply, using a nether Doris Day type of uh, swept back look as sort of a template, but definitely not an exact reproduction of that look. So because I have bangs, my hair is gonna be slightly different than what um, Doris's looks like in the pictures. Um, but we'll be able to get something pretty similar um, that will kind of have that same general aesthetic. And I'm just going to go ahead and unroll my, ro my rollers here. I've got um, large sized flexible rollers here, but they're the shorter ones. I don't like the really long ones because they kind of get all squirrely on the head. So that's, this is the type that I seem to prefer. And I find that these give me a similar curl to a large pin curl. Um, so this is also the same type of curl I get from Rock and Rollers, and it's my favorite type of curl to work with for my type of hair. Lasts a while. Okay, so we have all of the curlers out, and the curls took, okay, not great. Some of them aren't completely dry, but we'll work with them. Um, and so now what we're going to do is start to brush this out. I am using my Denman paddle brush today because I have my, um, because, because my Denman brush is already packed, um, my actual styling brush. But what we're just going to do is break up the curls first, as always. And you'll see, of course, initially you just get kind of frizzy curls. And then you just pull all of that to the bottom. Okay, and you can see that this does not look anything like Doris Day hair. This is more like Jacqueline Bissett. <laughs> so what you gotta do is um, you just gotta start pulling it to the bottom. I guarantee you Doris Day's hair looked frizzy too when she first brushed it out. So then what you do is just take the front section and go ahead and work it first. Um, I want this to be as sleek and smooth as possible. So I'm pulling it back so that it blends in with the rest of my hair. And then I'm allowing this section here to kind of form a little bit of a curl like that. Um, and you wanna make sure that any of these short pieces are blended as well as you can get them so that it's kind of more solidified. I pulled one of the longer back sections up in front of the shorter pieces in the front. This is just all part of the trick to blending your bangs. Okay, so I kind of like that. It's not exactly like the picture, of course, because her haircut's quite different. But it kind of gives you a general idea of what we're going for. And then I'm just taking these pieces and moving them down. And brushing my hair around my hand, as always. And I'm gonna brush, like in the picture, I'm gonna brush these bottom sections towards my face so that they are closer. Now, of course, technically my hair should be a little shorter in order to really, truly mimic this style. But my hair is not shorter, so we just gotta make do. But you can see, this is actually looking more Donna Reed, but you can see it just has a very solidified, very smooth appearance. It's ideal for day or evening. Um, but I'm looking at this more like a daytime hairstyle, something that's kind of casual and loose and easy to wear. And to keep this um, 
little front curl as smooth as possible. You can bobby pin it, but I've noticed that in her in the picture, her hair does not have any kind of real true structure to it. It's all just, it looks as though it was styled in the position that the curls just fell. So that's what I'm trying to do here with this style is just make it look a little more organic and a little more light. These are my natural curls. This is just how my hair falls when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna take this side and it looks like this side, she's got this side like really, really kind of pulled down and polished. And that's gonna help with our evening style for sure. But you can see that this section here being very polished, um, your part being pretty defined, and then this section here being very polished is really what can lends itself to that truly 1950s look. Um, and then we've got a very easy, very simple Doris Day hairstyle for Viva. Um, the back is very smooth. Um, the curls were just allowed to fall into their natural positions. So that is very important for a style like this. You don't want it to look too maintained. You don't want it to look too formed. Um, this isn't really a Dita Von Tees type hairstyle where you've got really shaped waves. This is just a hairstyle that is really allowed to kind of be its own thing and this is the day version of the style. So we'll come back in just a minute and do the night version. Okay so for night what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our brush and we're going to kind of sweep this back, this front section back. So this little curl is gonna be non-existent and I am sorry but this hairspray, this you can shine um, high hold high shine spray by Aussie is a horrible suggestion for brushing through your curls after the day is over. You need some Elnet, you need some uh, of the vintage glam hairspray. This stuff is not meant to be brushed through after it's already been styled all day, so do not use it. It is very, very hard to brush through and I am pulling out my hair. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda brush through and break up the curls. Oh, oh I can hear it breaking. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I may not have any hair by the time Eva comes. Okay, so I am brushing through, now it's a little better. Okay, I'm brushing through the existing curls and just kind of keeping these waves intact. Uh, it feels very soft though. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take my top section and push it, pull it all the way back. And I have already sprayed my, um, or I have already packed my shine spray and my pomades and things like that. So I don't have any of that with me right now because I'm an idiot and I'm just assuming I guess I'm not going to be styling my hair in the next two weeks. Um, <laughs> Alright, and then what I'm going to do is take the sides. I'm going to make sure that I keep the volume in this back section. And then I'm gonna take a section here and clip it out of the way. Just a small section, front forward of the ear. And then a section here and clip it out of the way. And then I'm gonna take this back section and I'm gonna put a couple of bobby pins right horizontal. I'm gonna Move this down the best you can. And I'm gonna take a couple of gold bobby pins that match my hair, but that's not gonna be that important. And slip them horizontal behind the ear so that this portion falls behind my ear, but is not gathered back there. It's not like a ponytail. Bobby pins are just kind of horizontal and your back hair will kind of fall over it. And then what I'm going to do is take this invisible hairnet. Now this is a black one. You, I need the blonde one. I have a blonde one somewhere. I cannot find it anywhere. I just bought it. Um, but go ahead and gather all of that hair except for these two side sections into your hairnet. And then just bobby pin it in place. It's not going to be necessary. And I'm just making sure that it is completely surrounding all of this back hair, like so. And then you can take a couple of bobby pins and just secure the slack in the bottom. And then you take your side sections and you just twist them. Twist them back. 
like this. And you're gonna let the ends float free. Okay. So now you've got this little section here. You've got this nice loose. You don't want it to be too tight, so just loose. Swept back. And then this side section, you're gonna do the same thing with. Just gonna pull it back smoothly, twist it a little bit, and join it in with your little pouch at the back and allow these little curls to float free. And then what we're gonna do is just take um, some flowers and cover those bobby pins. And that way you don't have to worry about whether or not you've got the net hidden and your bobby pins hidden and all that kind of stuff. So we can just take some flowers and just cover the bobby pins. I'm gonna use a couple of these peonies. I think they're peonies. These are some of the very first bell blossoms I ever got. them back there and that will look really really pretty at night um, and it does have sort of a oven uh, kind of a confined and swept back and glamorous look but it could also work vice versa you could do the curls at night the waves at night and then this type of hairstyle during the day I've always felt like that these invisible nets look really really nice for evening and of course if you wanted them to look even even more glamorous you could put feathers um, or some type of like really, really elaborate hair accessory there at the base instead of using flowers. Um, or you could use orchids for a more formal flower. So that's my suggestion. That's just one suggestion for a Doris day to night look. And I hope that this was helpful to you. I hope also that my videos this year have been helpful. I really spent a lot of time last, last week doing the Viva preparation videos. So I really hope they're useful for you. And ask, let me know if you have any questions and uh, I will see you after Viva. I don't believe I'll be doing any videos before then, so goodbye for this year um, when it came. One more thing, make sure that while I'm in Las Vegas, you're following me on Instagram and Facebook, more than likely more Instagram than Facebook. I probably won't be posting much to, to Facebook, but I will definitely be posting to Instagram a lot. I'm playing a game at Viva, um, kind of a, of a Where's Waldo type thing. <laughs> um, so basically it's just a it's just an Instagram game where I post a photo, like a viewpoint, and you have to find me. And it's just something that I thought would be really fun for those of you who wanted to meet me. Um, so follow me on Instagram. That's definitely where I'm going to be more often than I am going to be on Facebook. And um, I will, of course, be blogging and doing a recap when I come back. So you will see me there more than you will see me on the other sites. Bye. Oh, yes, I do. Well, the feeling of this shame, it won't lift these heavy chains. I want you, yes I do.